Hey everybody, I hope you're having a good day. It is November 27th, tomorrow's Thanksgiving, 2019. I want to talk about a knife that is extremely rare. Uh, there are only 200 in the world. The likelihood of seeing somebody carry one is very, very slim. So, quick thing on Benchmade, everybody knows they have their classes, right? So they have the blue class, which is usually less expensive for everyday carry. They have their black class, which is a tactical police or everyday carry. A little more expensive. And then they have their gold class. Um, if you have a gold class knife, it pretty much means you're better than anybody alive. Just kidding. So, you know, that's a general rule. You have three classes, blue, black, and gold. Okay. So here we have the freak you know, the Contigo, and we have something in here that I'm about to show you. So let's get these out of the way. This might be what we're about to look at here. So really quick, um, I know most of you probably know this, but the Griptilian was released in 2001 and was produced or designed by Mel Pardue. Um, it quickly became a bestseller. A lot of people called it an affordable flagship. Um, I have trouble with that because, and that's why I do not own a Griptilian. So I'm going to talk about a Griptilian today and I'm going to tell you, I think this is a pretty unbiased review because I'm not a Benchmade uh, Griptilian nut. I do like Benchmade because I'm a lefty. I like their ambi axis control or axis lock, but... Um, I do not own a Griptilian because I don't like the original models, which had a plastic handle. I can't buy a knife for over $100 with a plastic handle. I will not do it. I will not do it. Okay. So, um, but it's one of the best sellers, you know, and like the 940, I told you in the review previously, I sold the 940. It's one of the best selling Benchmade knives. I just don't like it. I'm just being honest. It didn't work out for me. It was too small and I sold it to a buddy and bought something else. Um, I don't know what I bought, but anyway. So, there is a lot of options with Griptilians as well. Uh, the blade has gone through a lot of different versions. The 440C, 154CM. I've seen it in D2. In 2019, I think they're going to make it exclusively with S30V. Um, you can write below if that's incorrect, but I just read that in five places tonight. The CPM 20 CV is on certain versions, which is in a premium steel as well. And the blade shape, you know, you have the 550, which is the modified sheep foot, it has a hole in the blade, kind of like a spidey hole, but it's not spidey. It's bench made. You have the 551 drop point, which is what's in this uh, golden box right here. And then you have the 553 Tonto as well. So there are options. The handle, you know, through the years I've seen uh, FRN or Grivery, GTX, and then uh, G10, which is awesome. G10 is good stuff. And then they also have the mini Griptilian if you don't like the full size, and it's 15% smaller than the original. So without further ado, let's take a look at this. So we have the 551-191 Griptilian. It's for everyday use, right? The Dama Steel blade. It's a manual open. It's not assisted or anything like that. It is the gold class, stepping up in the world, right? September twenty fifth, two thousand nineteen. Here we have a number. It says number forty nine. What does that mean? Well, you know, with my five seventy here, it was a first production run. So it was a 539 out of 1,000 version, which is pretty cool. But after they make 1,000, they're going to continue making these. It's just a first production, right? So they're going to still make them. That's not the case with this. There's 200 of these in the world, and that's it. So it's pretty exclusive, and it's actually internationally exclusive. And what I mean by that is, when you look online, you'll see them in places like Australia, Russia, uh, Saudi Arabia, Canada, and Italy. Um, the Saudi Arabian site, you know, I clicked on it. Uh, it started to open, and then I had some connectivity issues. And, uh, you know, so I'm pretty sure it was Saudi Arabia. 
So here is, you might want to read that. Of course, we have the lovely Axis Lock, which is extremely strong and very Southpaw friendly. And then you have this nice card here. Where have you seen a card like this before in my reviews? When have you bought a knife where you have something handwritten in it? Chris Reeve, right. Very high-end knives, okay? So let's go through the whole thing. It is with great pride that we offer this limited edition product to you. It has been handcrafted by our talented employees in Oregon, USA. We've carefully selected designs and materials that offer exquisite beauty. It is our sincere wish that it be enjoyed for generations to come with as much passion and enthusiasm as we had making it. Nicely said. Nicely done. Nicely done. Okay, so let's open it up. The 551-91 has a genuine axis lock mechanism. Diamond-like carbon-coated lock stud and pocket clip. Gray-blue layer G10, which is awesome, with black battle wash finish. Uh, I won't even try to pronounce... Yeah, I will. Uh, the Fioro pattern from Damasteel Sviden um, blade, the blue anodized aluminum thumb stud and barrel spacers. This knife is number 49 out of 200. Very cool, very cool. And there's the seal. It's official, guys. It is official. This is gold class, right? So here's the bag that I always tell everyone you'll probably never use. You could put some sunglasses in there or something. I don't know. But it's gold. Notice it's gold. That's not normal. You have another layer because this thing is so awesome. And here it is. Oh. Okay. I do like the color of the handle. You have a nice cutout. The shape of a griptilian. Which is cool. Let's get all this out of the way. I'm not going to throw that box. Believe that. We'll talk about the price later. Let's take a look at the knife. Now that we're seven minutes in. Right? I led you on. But I'm going to follow through. So you can see the bench made there. Um, I like it because it's not a billboard. There's not tons of writing on here. Because they're trying to show the blade. And it is very, very exquisite. I have to say, I've never had a knife like this, and um, you know the process and everything that goes into this blade in Sweden uh, is very awesome. So number forty nine out of two hundred, black battle wash G ten, gray blue, blue anodized spacers. So the original uh, Griptilian is actually kind of closed in the back, and it has a kind of a funky looking seam here, and it's plastic. I don't like it one bit. That's why I don't own one. All right. Um, so I am kind of picky. You know, I've become a knife snob through the years. This pocket clip right here. Um, sorry, I have like a frame right here, and I can't swing my hand to open and close. So that's my excuse anyway. So this pocket clip they call the split arrow. I do not like it. I'll show you what I like. You could buy them for $5 from Benchmade. This is what I like. So I like the deep carry pocket clip. So the hundred and, I don't know, $50 version of, it's a Griptilian 551-1, has a G10 handle. They made that upgrade in 2016, has a 20 CV steel. And I believe most of them come from the factory with a deep carry pocket clip. I don't know why they didn't put that on there. I really don't. So I don't like that. I would replace that if I were to carry this. Um, but the question is, would anyone really carry this every day? We'll talk about that in a second. So like I said, when you go online and try to find pricing and things like that, you're going to see this in a lot of different countries, and that's why they call it an international exclusive, which is kind of cool. Um, a lot of them weren't in English, so I couldn't actually understand what they were saying, but I recognized the knife and the model number, right? The 551-191. So this blade... So I have this knife on loan, okay? And 
they got this in a trade, so I don't know if the person that originally bought it refinished the blade or not, but I gotta say, this is one of the sharpest blades I've ever had in my life. Um, it's scary sharp, so when, when you talk about scary sharp, when you feel how sharp that blade is, that's uh, you feel like it's gonna cut you. I mean, it is a different kind of feeling. It's not like any other blade right so let's look at some let's uh hard use this knife just kidding so i mean effortless this is like i said one of the sharpest knives i've ever held i mean it's it is scary i mean it is extremely sharp so let's do this Look at that. Just shaved my arm. I barely touched it. Now I have some dirty hairs on a freaking custom 49 of 200 knife. But I'm just trying to explain to you how scary, scary sharp this thing is. So in the past, I've not been a fan of Griptilian, but uh, this particular knife is pretty awesome. So let's look at some of the measurements and things like that. Okay, so here we have a 3.45 inch blade. The overall is 8.07 inches. Closed, it is a 4.62. And the weight is pretty light, 4.17 ounces. And of course I said the axis, the finish split arrow, battle wash. So the blade is from Sweden. It's technically from how I pronounce Sudafush, Sweden. I think they pronounce it Sudafush. And um, the steel mill that it actually comes out of was originally started in 1776. Seven, the year 1776, which is pretty cool. If you watch some of their videos online, they talk about their Viking heritage and the history of Damascus steel. Very cool. Um, now they technically started around the late 1990s and they just stayed in this small town, but you know, in the video they have pictures of like Damascus scissors and rings and all kinds of stuff. It's really, really cool. Um, so I do feel like as far as that goes, uh, the blade and the steel is very unique. You're not going to find it very common on regular Benchmade knives or any other knife. You know from Sweden and if you do find it from Dama Steel it's uh, it's gonna be expensive it's no joke right but uh, so we have the bronze phosphor bushings hopefully you can see those now one thing the person that let me loan uh, let me borrow this you know I have it on loan is they were asking about the steel as far as the warranty goes and that's an extremely good question because Benchmade has a lifetime warranty, but on Dama Steel, like if something happens to this blade, how do you get another one from Sweden? And maybe you guys know that answer, just put it below. Uh, that would be really, really good. I would like to know. So I just wanted to introduce you guys to this knife. Uh, you may never see one in your life, but I think it's really cool. I didn't see a lot of reviews on it, so I just wanted to show you real quick. But as always, I really appreciate you guys watching. You know, please hit subscribe, share this with your friends or family, whoever likes knives, um, and maybe they might want to see it too. Again, this is the knife that we're looking at. And some of the information about it. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. I really appreciate you watching. Have a great Thanksgiving 2019. Thank you.